Welcome to the Whiskey Walt, where I'm almost dead and we have presents. Here we go. Calm down. Here Calm, we go. You have too much energy. Calm down. Yeah. Did the past two nights, I've gotten four hours of sleep or less. One night was two and a half hours. Yeah. Last night was four. Yeah. Two you, days you of sound, solid you teaching. Sound, you're sounding a little hoarse. I have no voice. <laughs> Do I need to carry the episode? Whiskey level one is complete and in the books. Is that is that what you're saying? I need to carry this episode. Yeah, you need to carry the weight. Go on, sit down. Yeah, no, you good. <laughs> okay, so this is Andrew McNeil mm -hmm. gave us this gift. That's his name. Andrew McNeil, you make magnificent bastard. Okay, so this is. Texas, remember that Texas blended? I remember how sweet this. This is their new bourbon. The bourbon. And it's a straight bourbon. Okay. With, I don't see an age statement, so that so would mean it's at least four. If you just saw this this top part of the bottle and mm -hmm. nothing else, right? what would that come up? What kind Highland of Highland Park. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally like a Viking vibe type of deal, man. You got like a leathery bit up here, and then uh, you got little fiddly bits around the edge. Yeah. That looks vi Viking. -y. So this is number two yellow in Texas corn, soft red winter wheat, mm -hmm. and six row malts. Now here's the weird thing about this. So I'll smell it and see if you see something's weird here. Then taste it maybe. So some young wood. You remember how we some tender young wood? Yeah, sort of supple, succulent. Taste it. Okay. Different, huh? Yeah. It's, it's not at all. It's a thousand miles away from the Texas blended. It's not got that quiet sour uh, not, barrel bad note. Not quite. But it is this dusty, slightly funk? Right? So it's here's what I say. It it has it landed squarely in the territory of the young green sour raw leather. Mm -hmm. But you know it's headed. It's going down that path, mm -hmm. but it's not there. So not it's, there, not, yeah. it's not off-putting, but uh, if it kept going in the direction that it is aimed at, then it would end up there. So remember we talked about people and their yeasts and Americans are pretty serious about yeast. Mm -hmm. This, they went through a hundred plus wild yeast samples around their distillery in North Texas. It's a lot of sweet wood. <laughs> sweet wood. Uh, they're still in North Texas. Yeah. They went through all the yeast until they found a batch that created what they wanted from a Brazos ranch. It's a pecan yeast. A pecan. So, so this this the whole yeast thing. Mm -hmm. There's yeast yeast strains. Are yep. these just naturally existing things that occur in the wild? Yes. And how, you have to go hunting for yeasty yes. things. Well, how like so you're just going through that's pecans. Why, that's why a lot of people will do closed fermentations. Because otherwise you can get yeast strains and bacteria that show up that you don't want in there. Okay. Right? Now, I'm saying for are there, people are who there, are serious about yeast. Are there yeast hunters? There should be yeast that hunters. That go forth into the world and... <laughs> like vampire hunters? <laughs> yeast hunters. Yeah, the... Um, <laughs> the no, see, stuff. Americans, I think it comes a lot from the beer culture where yeast is extremely important. Um, not as big of a difference in whiskey as it is in beer, but... Getting some sugary wood and a bit of apple. It's Texas whiskey, man. So you leave it in there for four years, you're gonna get a lot of barrel notes. Okay, so I'm acclimating. This is getting sweeter though. Oh, time for new shoes. I like this gift because I opened this box up. It's gift day. It's gift day, Rex. Presents. I got you. I didn't get you a present. Somebody else got you a present. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, is this an Amazon card? From yeah. Amazon? Yeah. Okay. Use toaster tongs, you heathens. <laughs> <laughs> from Come Dave, on, that's good. From Dave McElroy. <laughs> <laughs> he's referring... It's this nice little pretty gift, and he's just giving it... He's referring to... <laughs> use toaster tongs. He's referring to the episode we did on the other <laughs> channel. By the way... Uh, the Biscuits channel. The name... That's not the Biscuits channel anymore. It's now named Whiskey Tribe. Because the tribe has become the most prominent thing. Mark this moment, things are, they are a change. Oh, each got one. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> These are toaster tongs? Yeah, man. Well, they can't be metal. 
Bamboo Toaster Tongs. They're actually named Toaster Tongs. Thank you, Dave McElroy. Dude, this is a guy who's serious about his toast. I'm gonna get <laughs> this me. totally won't get lost. I'm going to get my toast out. This totally won't get lost in my utility drawer. All right, big, take another sip. Anything change about the bourbon? I'm still getting... A big toaster guy. Every sip, toast, a big toast guy. He loves toast. Always ranting about toast. It's his favorite thing. It's warmed bread. It's a... What? No, you're a Philistine. Toast is glorious. It's, it, you know, it can be... One of the best things... It can be an element in something glorious, no, but no. in and of itself... No, one of the best things ever is a good cup of English tea, a little milk, a little sugar, and buttered toast. But you put butter on the toast. I'm saying just toast. Well, no, the, the point is it's a vehicle. It's a base. Toast is a vehicle. It's a base that is combined with other but things. But the vehicle ruins everything if you over toast it or you under toast it or you get that weird thing where one side's slightly brown and the other one's still not. Or you trying to get the thing out with your keys and it just gets mangled. Yeah, because that happens to you. I don't do. Yeah. Or use your fingers and burn your hands. What do you get in the bourbon? Because now the more I drink it, the less that slightly sour note's going away, but it's getting sweeter and sweeter. Yeah, the sour note's gone. Uh, you um, know what this room... It's, it's not going to be, you know, on a favorite list, but it's fine. Yeah. I, I like it better than the Texas Blended, which... Yeah, I do too. I would say that it's probably... By design. The sweetest whiskey I can remember having. One day I want to compare it to the French whiskey. The Bren, just to compare sweet whiskey versus sweet whiskey. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should do that yeah, sometime. Yeah, back there. Okay, this is for you, but you got to open it second. For the mooch. Hang on. Only. Hang on, this is for the song. Part two. Angel share wait, class. Wait for it, wait for it. Don't open it yet. We have unboxings now. Dear Daniel, I hope you find the water droppings to your liking. Oh. I've watched you evolve from using a straw to a glass tube. It's time to kick it up a notch. Holy s***. What is that? That looks fancy as oh, bro. You know what that is? That's fancy as Look. Adding a little oh, water to your whiskey. Oh, and you hold it right there. Yes. So there's a hole right at the top. So you can create that uh, air Dude. pressure. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm a fan of that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna How do you it. not shatter this though? So, and then he also says, this is uh, Ionis, Ionis. Your second present is to watch Rex suffer, as I have also sent an angel share for the vault. <laughs> Quite possibly the world's only unmoochable whiskey. We'll see. We'll see. Rex, sorry bro, no mooching from the angel. Even the great Rex has limits, but fear not, oh great one, there is still some hope left. Ah. In an earlier episode, Daniel said he knew how to pronounce a fellow Greek's name better than you did. Oh, you no. You then followed up with the line, don't you know how to read Greek? <laughs> I think it's time for a little challenge. It's his name, isn't it? Because yeah. I couldn't figure it out if I was pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, Rex, you hold the answer to the correct pronunci pronunciation of my name. Daniel shall try to convince you not to mooch on his favorite whiskey by pronouncing my name properly. Ionis. This show is great, by the way. What did you say? Ionis. Am I close? No. No? No. What is the name? You're like a thousand miles Is it I-O-N-N-A-S? E That's how he signed my note. E-O-A-N-I-S. Oh, phonetically. Yeah. You said Ionis. Uh, oh, he put an I on mine. Uh, so E, spell it. Milothresis. Accent on the three. Oh, there's so no way. Ionis. Oh, the last name. Ionis. 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 I said that. Ionis. You said I. I said Ionis. I said Ionis. I said Ionis. I said Ionis. This is titillating content. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but what do you get to mooch then? Uh, well, try and check out your unmoochable whiskey. What is it? Dude, I will break some shit, man. This. You think you can hold back a master mooch? There's no <laughs> way. He has Watch a, this. He has a yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is like a sculpture. Of like a, like an they angel. formed glass they, with whiskey in it. They did without blowing up angels. The, the angels share glass. That's awesome, man. I think that's gonna have to end up on your mooch necklace, dude. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. It's fragile. That, and I swing that thing around quite. That's a bit. true. We probably shouldn't. do Thank that. Thank you, Giannis. That's awesome. What do we need to compare this to? I don't know. I'm I'm just getting this overly sour bourbon. No, uh, do we want to compare no, it to another it. Texas whiskey? I thought you said it was backing off with a sour for you. No, it keeps coming back. If I give it even just a little bit of time, it's right back. Mm. Uh, do we want to try it to another Texas high heat bourbon? Or do we want to try it to another bourbon from somewhere else? Uh, high heat. Uh, yeah. We could do Garrison. Sure. High heat. 
Christopher Breton, what's black and blue and red all over? Dan, just why? Uh. Come on, finish it. Due to the infinite nature of the universe, many many items, both natural and manufactured, could be described in this manner. <laughs> Not wrong. I like that one. <laughs> it's not wrong. Nerd answer. David Grimm, what'd you get? I got Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey, single barrel selected for total wine. Mm -hmm. Now the difference is gonna be that this is a 47%. Yeah, I'm not getting on the nose that green. This is three years old. That green uh, sour wood note. No, me either. It is very uh, chemically though, like, like, a, like a indoor swimming pool. What? Yeah, look at indoor swimming pool. That'd be an amazing swimming pool. Chlorine. Just swimming in whiskey. Yeah, I'm just getting a slight chemical tinge to it. Yeah, a little you bit. You see what I mean? I mean, it's not the only thing. It's not overbearing. It's just, it's on the it's on the top. It's coming over the top. It's like uh, vanilla on top of wood. Oh, that is even more wood. Yeah, it's vanilla on top Man, of wood. Man, that is a lot of wood. Vanilla on top of wood. Are I you getting of, vanilla? Yeah, I am. Vanilla on top of wood. It's it's a it's a chunk of wood with vanilla icing slathered on top of it. <laughs> David Grimm, Daniel, I just rewatched your old video with the modern rogue and have an essential question. The fifth of the five kinds of scotch you explained was a blended scotch. I think he means blended. Blended, yeah. Cheapest whiskey you can get. Uh, well, usually. Well, you can be. Usually. <laughs> what uh, exactly is the difference between blended scotch and blended grain? Mm. Aren't both kinds just from multiple distilleries and multiple grains? So we've talked about this before, and let's just recap. But keep in mind that this number one rule, blended scotch, not, not all blended scotch is cheap and <laughs> but if you get a cheap and <laughs> scotch, it's probably a blended scotch. <laughs> <laughs> right, but compass boxes can show you so thumb, that there are blended scotches that are a thumb is a finger, but a finger isn't necessarily right. a thumb. So, um, sort of. So, there's the families. Just think, mom, dad, three kids. Mom, single malt. Dad, single grain. If you had two moms, you're a blended grain or blended malt. If you had two dads, you're a blended grain. If you had mom and dad, you're a blended scotch. That was fast. Rewind it if you want to remember that again. Oh. So blended grain just means it wasn't malt whiskey. It was a mix of grains, sometimes even 100% corn, and from multiple distilleries, but it's got no malts in it, uh, or no single malts in it. What's the price point difference? Uh, I think this is way more expensive. Way more expensive? This is in the 30-ish range. Oh, okay. Well, what are you comparing? Okay. This is more in the, the 40 plus range. Oh. I think. You think? I think. And you got $15 just in that waxy bit there. Yeah, you do. Uh, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Fight, may you fight for a bread. If you steal, may I steal all of our hearts. If you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below. 